Hey guys, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I'm Waterglue, and let's get started. So, in the recent update, they added railings and war drums. Now, I'm pretty interested in these railings because it means over here on my little veranda that I built, we can actually start getting some sort of barricade up there to make it look a bit less like some random stone outcropping and somewhere you might actually go to enjoy. So, there's a few different types. You've got your wood, stone, and metal railings. I'm going to make a few of each up just to see which one looks the nicest. Now, I believe the metal you need to make in the smithy. So, structures, metal, yep, here it is. 12 metal ingots, 3 cementing paste. Ah, that's not much. We'll make, we'll make 3 of them. We'll make 3 of each just to, just to get an idea of what each one looks like. Now, I'm assuming you don't need to use a smithy for the other ones, so... Here we go. Rail, wooden rail. Wood, thatch, fiber, stone, stone, wood, thatch. Alright, that's easy enough. We'll go outside to my materials, make up a couple of them, and I'll meet you guys back on the veranda. Alright guys, and we're back here on the patio. I've made up a few different types of each one, so I'm just gonna place a couple then we can decide from there which one looks the best. So we'll start off with some wood. Alright, so these place pretty normal. Uh, looks like you can only place it when it's directly next to either a pillar or a foundation. Oh, well, that's no big deal. So I'll place a couple of wood ones, see how they look. Hmm. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Alright, well, we've got to see what the other ones look like. Stone. Ah, not really digging stone. I'll put two down. Nah. Stone, definitely not. How about metal? Ooh. Metal looks pretty good, actually. Hmm. Oh. That was weird. It doesn't snap properly together? Or do they have directions they face? Ah, looks like they have uh, directions they face, guys, so be careful when you place them, or else you'll do exactly what I just did again. Well, I think I'm going to go metal because... Mm, it's either metal or wood. You know what, we'll go wood. We'll keep in with the decor of the rest of the house. If I ever, up ever upgrade the house to metal, then we'll change it to metal. Alright, well, I'm going to go make a bunch more of these up, and I'll go make some pillars up so I can actually extend this railing to the outside. And we'll be right back. <laughs> Alright guys, and we're back. So, I've placed a few pillars down here for support. And unfortunately, because I had an even number, you couldn't exactly have one in the dead center. But how to get around that is I put two at the back here, into that ledge. And that way they'll stop the ones from the middle. They'll be able to be placed now, essentially. So, we'll land off and we'll start placing some of these pillars. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Alright, here we go. So I think this will really make the place look quite a bit nicer. I'm just hoping I made enough. I don't really feel like going back to make more. Do, 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 do. I'm so glad they added these though. Before this you had to place wooden fence foundations on top of each other. Ah, oh, look at that, I had two spares. Oh man. That looks so much better. I'm going to get an aerial view. That way we can actually see what it fully looks like from the outside. Alright, here we go. Go up here. Any bird will do. Oh yeah, I also bring all my birds over from my base. Nothing fancy about them. They're all low levels. Ah, look at that. That looks so much better. Alright, there's one more thing I wanted to play around with that came out, and that's the war drum. So let's build one of them up real quick and see what that sounds like, what's the go with it, what you can actually do with it. Alright. Well, I'm going to build it and I'll... Alright, we're back and it just finished crafting up. I might go drop it on the Quetzal. I mean, you know, it kind of makes a little bit of sense. And let's see what the go is. Alright, here we go. Do an inventory slot, I guess. Oh wow, it's massive. Um, well, I guess. Yeah, I guess he has a good of place as any. Whoa. Huh. 
Huh. That's pretty cool. Huh. That's actually really fun. I'm sure somebody who's a bit more musical and climb than me would be able to have a lot more enjoyment with that. But that's pretty cool. That's a nice little addition. Especially on servers with PvP. If you want to alert people that you're coming to wreck their crap. Alright, I had a couple of monkeys being mating down here, but I've been having a lot of issues with that, and they've just sort of been not working properly. Like, I had, um, it was fully gestated, or it was almost fully, server restart, reset it all, and I had to wait again, and it's such a huge wait. Well, I think we'll go put the barbecue out on the veranda. I think I made one up before, so I didn't have to make one on camera. Here it is. Let's race outside real quick. Alright, here we go. And where should we place this guy? They're pretty big. Hmm. I think over in this back corner looks nice. Let's just make sure we're not placing it off the edge or something like that. Yeah, plenty of clearance on the door. Perfect. Alright, well, I think that's what I'll leave it out for this episode, and I'll catch you guys next time.